Hello there guys, it is Don't Chew on Chewy here and we're back with another tutorial, this is indeed another rustic tutorial and I spawned in a seed and check this out, it's got like a nice little overhang here with some coal you spawn like on the other side of this jungle over there flew over here, nice little plains biome right next to the forest biome, it's really nice seed here is the seed if you're interested let's pause the video and there are my coordinates in your face, x51, z234 so there you go you basically just kind of turn left and just head this way from the spawn if you're interested but anyway, less about the seed, more about the build today we are doing an enchantment hut and I'm sure this is one of my videos well, one of my update videos which I've deleted down now so I don't confuse people I'll show this one of my videos and I didn't think it was that good but I did a bit of work to it made it look a bit nicer and now I think it's ready for you guys to see so on my hot bar you'll be able to see the materials we'll be using uh, stone brick blocks, stairs and slabs some oak wood spruce with planks, stairs and the slabs as well the oak logs and some fences, we'll also be using these cobblestone fences, that's why I put it there so I can quickly grab it and obviously also an enchantment table and bookshelves for the actual enchantment station I guess you could call it but without further ado let's crack on and I can see you're going to be a problem So you're going down. So let's get started. Um, let's take our oak logs and build up four. And news! We are in 1.6. Let me just quickly show you. Here we have the stained clay, the hay bales, the block of coal. Um, really cool. Finally got the texture pack. Really, it is about time. Um, but at the same time, you know, I didn't know it was updated, I think it literally just updated on the day. So that's pretty lucky. So we're going to place blocks like this, so you're going to place your logs four high. Leave a gap, place your other logs. Come around, two blocks, diagonal one, two blocks. So it's quite small, you're going to be able to enter, en <laughs> enter it from all sides, which is something that I really like doing recently, uh, my stables which is a really cool build and if you haven't checked it out so already make sure you go and check that out, it's really really good for survival I think um, that was also entrable from all four sides it's just something that I really think it's just cool to be able to enter something from all four sides and I did make a bit of a boo boo here so we're going to bring up our logs for here here on all sides. I am very sorry about that. However, it's only one stone brick, so I actually sometimes would actually restart the video now um, for making that mistake because I've only placed like one stone brick on the floor on each. I'm not gonna. I'm actually very picky um, when it comes to videos. Like if I don't think something is perfect, or if I made like a mistake really early on like that, sometimes I will actually restart the video. Um, that's just how I am. So this is a very log, loggy build. Bring all these up to four. And this is going to be quite a short tutorial, actually. Um, I just realised. But you know, you know, to say, good things come in small packages. I myself am a very small human being, and I believe I am a good package. That could be taken completely in the wrong context. Please don't. So. We're just going to wrap our roof round like this. Instead of kind of skipping a corner like that, we're just going to make it wrap round like a snake. Until we get to here. And then just stick it out one block. So this is your kind of shit. You go two, three, two, three, two. So see, from above. There you go. And we're just going to copy this to all the sides of the build. Fortunately, as they always say, roofs tedious. But effective, you know, without the roof, it would merely be a ruin, as maybe somebody said once. It's like this all the way around. 
we're going to be using, as you can see, a stone brick um, casing. We're going to do that. Symmetrical. We're going to be using a stone brick casing, and then on the inside, we're going to be using the spruce wood. So that's cool for your roof. You're just going to go like this. Each side doesn't look much now, but as we start adding details, in fact, I may as well just use the four blocks here, might we? As we start adding the details, as we start filling the roof in, it will look nicer. Trust me. Okay, now we'll just may as well just wrap our roof round like this as well, using the spruce wood. Kind of this wrap technique. All the way around. So many builds. Um, I was watching this YouTuber called Fancy Blue Pants yesterday, and so many builds. Literally, ah, all the way around. Like, all video, all the way around. Um, it's really weird when I thought about it because a lot of my builds are like that as well. So again, we're just gonna wrap as if we're wrapping a Christmas present. All the way around. I'm, I'm, I, need, I need to stop saying that now. That is really going to wind someone up. I'm aware it's becoming a night. So we'll just quickly do that. And I think we'll change this little bit here in the future. Um, I mean, like put a stair there, give a bit more definition to the start of the roof. I'm pretty sure that will be done. So we're kind of just making a little square here. Then we'll keep wrapping. Until we get to this point here, I'm just going to come out like this. And I think we, we may have just done that bit wrong. Yes, I did. We're just going to bring out one block. Like so. Okay, there's been a real fuck up here. Uh, okay, so that's like that. So that's got to be like that. How bulky is that looking? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's keep it. Now we're just going to take our four blocks. We're going to wrap it again. I'm not going to say it. I was close then to saying all the way around. Oh, for sake, I just said it. Um, okay, so there's our roof. Very, very simple. But as with most of my builds, they are quite simple. Um, but what are you going to do? Shoot me. Okay, so we're going to have logs coming through the centre of the building like this, acting as support struts. Back around here, like this, through our entrance. Come let me through. And out one block, like that. Stair on each one. Add a bit more. Kind of definition to the front of the build, so the roof kind of um, sticks out a bit more. Like so. And if we come down now, it's coming together, but at the same time, we need doorways. So here we're going to do something like this. You know, give this log a bit of support. This slab, hit, this stair here, will be our doorway entrance to make it look a bit nicer. So just like this. I'm going to say it all the way around. That might really wind people up, and if it does, I'm so sorry. But that's literally what it is. So we're going to use oak wood, something that I rarely use in my builds. I'm going to use this as a filler, just to fill this in here. Don't really want to use spruce wood, as we've got already got that for the roof. And bringing in other materials. Oops, let me, let me out there. It's always a good idea. And if you stuck around to this long in the video, you're a pretty cool guy. So let's talk a bit about upcoming tutorials and new styles. So, the next bit we're going to do all the way around is just like this, like that, and then stairs like this. So we're going to do it all the way around while I speak or talk, as usual people say it. But, as you may know if you look at my channel, we are approaching 50 subscribers. And I want to do something for 50 subscribers. You know, I didn't do something for 25 when I kind of wanted to, but never got around to it. And... I'm going to show you guys a new style I've been working on for 50 subs, which will lead to possible new tutorials 
Um, don't worry, I will still be sticking to Rustic. It's not like I'm ditching the Rustic. They will always mainly be Rustic. But I'm going to chuck a few of these. This new styling, I'm kind of keeping it a secret of 50 subs. And that's, that's going to be cool. But I was wondering, do you guys kind of want to ask me a few questions as well? Like, like a tiny Q&A, just ask me a few questions in the comment section below. Things you want to know about me, you know, anything like, you know, what's my cat's call? I mentioned them in some of my videos. Um, let's quickly go and grab this over here. You know, what is my, um, I was going to say, how many cats do I have? You know, what kind of pets do I have? How old am I? You know, any questions like that, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll bring them forward to the 50 subs video. I'm really looking forward to it. Literally can't wait. I think I might shout. We're in a happy voice like, yeah! Because it's going to be a qu quite a big moment, you know, when when it happens. Quite a big moment indeed. So, as I said, just leave your comment, leave your uh, questions in the comment section below. And as always, leave your awesome ideas for other builds that I can do. Because they are always awesome. So I just had a bit of floor in here and if there like a path that could go outside. Um, yeah, but that, again, that's up to you. If you don't think a QA and a is a good idea, you know, you don't, you don't have to. Ask questions, just tell me, oh yeah, q and is not a good idea. Again, if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments section below as well. So, outside we added those little um, cobblestone with the fence post on top. You can even add a torch on top of them if you want for a bit of lighting. That'd be cool. I'm going to quickly turn my game volume down. I just realised it's quite loud. You might not even be able to hear it now. But I can. So it's not that bad. Uh, let's get it prepped. It's like I turn it up a tiny bit and then it's like real loud. Oh no, now it's really quiet. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to fill our floor in with our kind of favourite wood. And mine in this case is the spruce wood. And I said the roof was probably the most the building the roof. I mean, was the most tedious part of the build. Imagine if you did a big build and doing all the floor by your hand. That would be a nightmare. But here we go. We're gonna slash clear in our inventory. Get a few things that we need to fill like the enchantment station. I'm blind. Oh no, I'm not there. It is. Okay, so let's get some glowstone, some bookshelves. Again, I am blind. Why can't I never see any of these things? There we go. Right. Um, so we're going to do a bit of decoration on the insides. So let's just grab a few like blocks. Now, as you are about to tell, we're going to well, obviously we're going to place our enchantment table in here. This is very small on the inside, but that that's not a sloppy thing by me. That's the thing that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be small, I wanted it to be very compact. Very survival friendly. So, like this. But, what we actually do is we take, we keep this in here. We take the corners out. Right? And because we've got rid of four bookshelves, if we place bookshelves here, 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 and here. This will still give us level 30. But, we can still enter from all sides and enchant. I thought that was one of the really cool things about this, that you could enter always, and still easily enchant up to level 30. I thought that was cool. Like these little cubby holes here, you can just add some chests. Can you open this chest here? So there's no point putting one there. But you can add some chests here. You can add, like, let's see, a bush. You know. Got my logs as well. You could add a bush, you know, going right up to the ceiling. You could basically add more books, but it'd look a bit boring if you added books. You know, you could go for just the standard. You know, you could go for a bush with a log on the top. Or you can go for the chest. I'm trying to think of what else you could go for. Hmm. 
that's a tricky one. I'd probably go for a mixture, you know, maybe. Definitely two chests, because chests are always useful for storage. So on and so forth. That actually looks kind of nice with the bushes there, I'm not even going to lie. And for like kind of the finishing touches, let's go and grab some spruce wood so we can do a bit of detail on the inside. I actually don't usually do interiors, but I'm actually quite enjoying myself here. I'm not a big fan, you know, of kind of in interiors. But it is nice to kind of change it up. We can maybe add something a bit like this. Maybe something... Come on, you bugger. Like that. Like this. Then here we can have like a full block. And like that. Half slab, half slab, half slab, half slab. That kind of looks nice. Gives it a bit of support. Talk to you. Could add fences here. Totally up to you. And um, the final thing before I leave you is what I did on my creative world was I grabbed this, some glowstone, found the center point, and just a little bit of lighting just above the enchantment table. You could even add some trapdoors here to cover it up. But that is it, and that is all. And this is it, basically. You know, if you could also add some kind of some trees, just splash some bow meals, splash some trees around the area, you know, like this. Come on, there we go. Let's bow meal the ground up around it, like this. Get rid of you. <laughs> and I, all in all, I think this is a pretty cool build, you know, just splash some trees around here and there. Be a bit sparing. Bone meal's quite viable resource in um, survival. You know, just add some trees around. Just bone meal the absolute love, love, the absolute mother out of it. You know, just do some exterior work. You guys are probably a bit better than me at that. So that is it. That is all. Here it is. Maybe not my most aesthetically pleasing build. Probably not my proudest build either. You know, I think my proudest build is definitely the clock tower. That was a really cool build. Nevertheless, I like it. I think it's very survival friendly. I like the fact you can enter it from all sides. I like the fact it's very symmetrical as well. I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Remember to leave your questions in the comment section below as well for the Q&A. If you think it's a good idea. If you don't, that is fair do's, fair do's. But I'll see you guys next time. As always, remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and you want to see more. Or, I mean, never miss a tutorial that I do. And, as always, tell your friends. I haven't said that in a while, but tell your friends is the best way for this channel to grow. Spread the word, spread the news. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe even with a 50 sub subscriber special. That'd be cool. Peace out, man.